Complications of Local Anesthesia Local Complications Needle Breakage Ocular Complications Paresthesia Facial Nerve Paralysis Trismus Soft Tissue Injury Hematoma Pain on Injection Infection Edema Systemic Complications Overdose Allergy Introduction Predisposing Factors Clinical Manifestations Management Local Complications Needle Breakage Rare because of using of disposable needles Causes 1. Bending of the needle 2. Sudden unexpected movement of the patient 3. Entire length of the needle inserted into the soft tissue 4. Use of the smaller needles, e.g. 40 gauge Prevention 1. Use large gauge needles, especially with inferior alveolar nerve and posterior superior alveolar nerve 2. Use long needles 3. Do not insert a needle into tissues to its hub 4. Do not redirect a needle once it is inserted into tissue Management When a needle breaks, visible 1. Stay calm 2. Instruct the patient not to move and let his mouth open 3. If the fragment visible, remove it with hemostat or a McGill intubation forceps. When a needle breaks, not visible. 1. No incision or probing. 2. Calmly inform the patient. 3. Referral oral surgeon, take radiograph and determine if it is superficial, remove or leave it and flow up. Local complications Ocular complications Amaurosis temporary blindness Medriasis pupillary dilation Ptosis droopy eyelid Diplopia double vision Causes Inadvertent arterial injection with retrograde blood flow Causes Orbital injection Inadvertent injection into the orbit through the inferior orbital fissure Prevention Aspiration before actual injection Inject slowly Treatment Reassure the patient that is transient Cover the affected eye with gauze dressing Refer patients to an ophthalmologist for evaluation if it lasts more than 6 hours Regular follow-up Local complications Paresthesia Causes Trauma to the nerve Local anesthesia solution contaminated by alcohol or sterilizing solution near a nerve produce irritation, resulting edema and increased pressure in the region of the nerve leading to paresthesia. Insertion of a needle inside a foramen Hemorrhage increased pressure paresthesia Prevention Proper care and handling to injection control and cartridge Management Most paresthesia resolve within 8 weeks without treatment Sequences of management Reassuring the patient Examine the patient and follow up each 2 months If sensory deficit is still more than 1 year Consultation with neurologist and oral surgeon Local complications Facial nerve paralysis Occur when anesthesia is introduced into deep lobe of the parotid gland Causes Transient FNP caused by local anesthesia into capsule of the parotid gland, which is located at posterior border of the mandibular ramus 
usually it occurred during inferior alveolar nerve block or Vezirania kinase nerve block. Prevention Proper care and handling to injection control and cartridge. Management 1. Reassuring the patient. 2. Contact lenses should be removed. 3. An eye patch should be applied to affected eye or manually close the lower eyelid periodically to keep the cornea lubricated. Local complications Trismus Pain and difficult of opening often after posterior superior alveolar or inferior alveolar nerve block. Onset 1 to 6 days post treatment. Causes Trauma to the muscles or blood vessels in the infratemporal fossa. Local anesthesia solution contaminated by alcohol or cold sterilizing solution produce irritation of the muscles. Low grade infection. Prevention 1. Use sharp, sterile, disposable needle. 2. Proper care and handling to injection control and cartridge. 3. A traumatic injection and avoid repeating of it. Management Heat therapy Warm saline rinse Analgesic Aspirin 325 mg Muscle relaxation if necessary, diazepam 10 mg bid Physiotherapy for 5 minutes each 3 to 4 hours If there is infection, antibiotic described for 7 days Improvement start within 2 to 3 days And recovery range 4 to 20 weeks Surgical intervention in some cases. Local complications. Soft tissue injury. Trauma to the lip or the tongue caused by biting or chewing these tissue while still anesthetized, especially with children. Prevention. A cotton roll placed between the lips and the teeth. Warn the patient. Self-adherent warning sticker. Management Analgesic for pain Antibiotic if there is infection Warm saline rinse to aid in decreasing the swelling Petroleum jelly to cover the lesion and minimize the irritation Local complications Hematoma The effusion of the blood into extravascular spaces can result from inadvertently a blood vessel Kasut by nicking to the artery or vein. Most occur with IANB and PSA nerve block. 7 to 14 days the hematoma will be presented. Prevention 1. Knowledge of normal anatomy. 2. Use shorter needle for PSA nerve block. 3. Minimize the number of the needle penetration. 4. Never use a needle as a probe in the tissue. Management 1. Direct pressure applied onto the site of bleeding. 2. Apply cold moist towels to affected area each 20 minutes every hour. 3. Advise the patient about soreness and limitation of the mouth opening possibility. Local complications Pain on injection Causes 1. Careless injection and callous attitude Palatal injection always hurt 2. Dull of the needle because of multiple injection 3. Rapid deposition of the local anesthetic solution Prevention Adhere to proper techniques of injection both anatomical and psychological sharp needles topical anesthetic inject slowly temperature of the solution local complications infection causes contamination of the needle 
now become rarely after introduction of the sterile disposable needle and glass cartridge. Management Antibiotic, Penicillin 250 mg QID Local Complications Edema Causes 1. Trauma 2. Infection 3. Allergy, angioedema. 4. Hemorrhage. 5. Injection of irritating. Solution, alcohol, cold. Solution. Management. 1. Minimal degree edema dash just analgesic for pain and will resolve in several days. 2. If large degree edema and sign and symptom of infection antibiotics should be prescribed. Systemic complications. Overdose. Overdose reaction is occurring when the drug access to the circulatory system. Normally there is constant absorption of the drug from its site of admission into the circulatory system and a steady removal from the blood by the liver. Patient factors. Age, weight, medications, gender, presence of disease, genetics, mental attitude, drug factors, vasoactivity, concentration, dose, route of administration, rate of injection, vascularity of the injection site. Presence of vasoconstrictors Patient factors Age The function of absorption, metabolism, and excretion are diminished in old people increasing the half-life of the drug in circulation blood. Weight Greater body weight larger dose Medications Meperidine narcotic analgesic Phenytoin anticonvulsion Quinidine antidysrhythmatic, and Desipramine antidepressant increase local anesthesia blood level, because protein bending competition. Gender Renal function during pregnancy may impaired leading to increase local anesthesia blood level. In adult women the seizure threshold is 5.8 mg backslash kg, in newborn 18.4 in the fetus 41.9 mg backslash kg placenta clearance of lidocaine presence of disease hepatic renal dysfunction and congestive heart failure decrease liver perfusion increase amide local anesthesia blood level genetics deficiency in enzyme serum pseudocholinesterase responsible for biotransformation of ester local anesthesia Mental attitude. Patient who are fearful. 1. Larger dose required. 2. Lower seizure threshold. Drug factors. Vasoactivity. Vasodilating properties of LA lead. 1. Shorter duration of clinical anesthesia. 2. Increased blood level of LA Concentration Lowest concentration should be given Dose Smallest dose should be given Route of administration Should be care about intravascular injection Rate of injection Slow, 60 seconds, for administration per cartridge, 36 mg Vascal rati of the injection site. Rapid of the absorption. Vasoconstrictors. Decrease absorption of the drug. Prevention. 1. Use aspiration syringe. 2. Use a needle no smaller than 25 gauge. 3. Aspirate in at least two planes before injection. 4. 
slow inject the anesthetic clinical manifestation 1 talkativeness 2 apprehension 3 excitability 4 slurred speech 5 stutter 1 sweating 2 vomiting 3 failure to follow commands 4 elevated blood pressure heart and respiratory rate 5 tonic clonic seizure in highly overdose 6 CNS depression, myocardiac depression, and cardiac arrest. Management 1. Mild overdose 1. Slow onset, greater than 5 minutes 2. Slow onset, greater than 15 minutes 2. Severe overdose 1. Rapid onset, within one minute. Two. Slow onset, five to fifteen minutes. One. Basic emergency management. One. Peaucition. Two. Sea circulation. Three. A airway. Four. Be breathing. 5. Definitive care. PCABD. 1. Mild overdose, patient conscious. Slow onset, greater than 5 minutes. PCAB. Reassure the patient. Administer oxygen via nasal canal. Monitor and record vital signs. 4 anticonvulsants, diazepam 5 mg backslash min or midazolam 1 m backslash min. Optional. Emergency medical assistance before. Patient discharge. 1. Mild overdose, patient conscious. Slow onset, greater than 15 minutes. PCAB. Reassure the patient. Administer oxygen via nasal canal. Monitor and record vital signs. 4 anticonvulsants, diazepam 5 mg backslash min or midazolam 1 m backslash min. Monodatory. Emergency medical assistance before patient discharge. 1. Severe overdose. Patient unconscious. Rapid onset, within one minute. PCAB. Protect the patient. Immediately summon emergency medical assistance. Continue basic life support, BLS. 4 anticonvulsants, diazepam 5 mg backslash min or midazolam 1 m backslash min. If seizures protract more than 4 minutes. 1. Severe overdose, patient unconscious. Slow onset, 5 to 15 minutes. PCAB. 4 anticonvulsants, diazepam 5 mg backslash min or midazolam 1 m backslash min, and oxygen administration. Immediately summon emergency medical assistance. Continue basic life support, BLS. Vasopressor and 4 fluid is recommended for management of hypotension. Systemic complications. Allergy. Hypersensitive state, acquired through exposure to a particular allergen. Allergic reactions cover a broad spectrum OD clinical manifestations ranging from mild and delayed response occurring as long as 48 hours after exposure to allergen, to immediate and threatening reaction develop within seconds of exposure. Predisposing factors Sodium bisulfite 
Antioxidant in Vasoconstrictor Local Anesthesia 1984 has been excluded Epinephrine Latex Topical Anesthesia Mostly ester Preservatives containing such as methylparaben, ethylparaben, or propylparaben Clinical Manifestation Dermatological Reaction Generalized Anaphylaxis Respiratory Reactions Dermatological Reaction Urticaria Angioedema Respiratory Reactions Bronchospasm Respiratory Distress Dyspnea Wheezing Flushing Cyanosis Perspiration Tachycardia Anxiety Laryngeal edema Extension of edema to the larynx Life-threatening emergency Generalized anaphylaxis Skin reactions Smooth muscle spasm of gastrointestinal and genitourinary tracts and bronchospasm Respiratory distress Cardiovascular collapse Treatment of the entire reaction may be terminated rapidly, but hypotension and laryngeal edema may persist for hours to days. Management Skin reaction Delayed reaction Immediate reaction Respiratory reaction Bronchospasm Laryngeal edema Generalized anaphylaxis Signs of allergy present No signs of allergy present Skin reaction Delayed reaction PCAB Oral histamine blocker 50 mg diphenhydramine or 10 mg chlorpheniramine, 1 Q6H for 3 to 4 days. Observation for 1 hour. Medical consultation. If patient is drowsiness, not allowed to leave the clinic. Skin reaction. Immediate reaction. PCAB. Epinephrine 0.3 mg IM IM histamine blocker 50 mg diphenhydramine or 10 mg chlorpheniramine Medical consultation Observation for 1 hour Prescribe oral histamine blocker 3 days Respiratory reaction Bronchospasm PCAB Administer oxygen at flow 5 to 6 liters backslash min. Epinephrine 0.3 IM or bronchodilator albuterol, dose repeated 10 to 15 minutes if needed. Observation for 1 hour. IM histamine blocker 50 mg diphenhydramine or 10 mg chlorpheniramine. Medical consultation. Prescribe oral histamine blocker 3 days Respiratory reaction Laryngeal edema, unconscious patient PCAB Epinephrine 0.3 IM, dose repeated 10 to 15 minutes if needed Activate emergency medical services IM histamine blocker 50 mg diphenhydramine or 10 mg chlorpheniramine Corticosteroid IM or 4, 100 mg hydrocortisone sodium succinate to inhibit and decrease edema. Perform cricothyrotomy. Thyroid cartilage. Incision. Cercoid cartilage. Generalized anaphylaxis. Signs of allergy present, unconscious patient. PCAB. Summon medical assistance. Epinephrine 0.3 IM, dose repeated 10 to 15 minutes. Administer oxygen. Monitor vital signs, recorded every 5 minutes. 
I am histamine blocker and corticosteroid IM or 4 if clinical improvement noted increased blood pressure, decreased bronchospasm. Generalized anaphylaxis. No signs of allergy present, unconscious patient. PCAB. Summon medical assistance. Administer oxygen. Monitor vital signs, recorded every 5 minutes. Addition management, on arrival of the emergency medical personnel depend on the cause of the loss of consciousness.